Hello, everyone. Welcome to another issue uh, of uh, Quarantine with Flying B, our special uh, program. Uh, we kind of uh, gave our best to uh, make for you for, to, to, uh, something interesting in the spirit of our festival of social innovation and new music during the, these hard, challenging COVID times. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, cultural movements in the time of crisis. Uh, my name is Raiko Borzic, and I'm uh, part of the uh, Plan B team from the beginning. And uh, I'm very happy to, uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to uh, 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 welcome our guests from all over uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, and I'm happy to have this opportunity to uh, exchange experiences and share that uh, uh, there, there are a lot of similarities between what we are doing and uh, and and a lot of uh, but also a lot of differences and uh, I, I can it seems to me that the, the similar things are happening to us and uh, but on a different timeline and perhaps uh, we can learn a lot from uh, uh, mistakes of each other uh, I hope that the, that the sound is functioning uh, for all of us. Uh, our technical team is here to, to, to jump in uh, uh, if something is needed. Uh, before we start sort of a serious talk, I would just like to, uh, uh, to set the, uh, each one of you uh, to say a little bit about uh, COVID and uh, epidemic situation. Uh, where you are, I'm here in Novi Sad at the moment, in the uh, uh, north of Serbia. It's uh, measures are quite relaxed. Uh, uh, if, if there were no people with the masks, uh, 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 one would say that there was no virus at all. The clubs are open and uh, the mass events are happening. But uh, due to, uh, to that, some people say we have some spike and. Uh, there is a talk that uh, the, 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 the new measures can be taken. And, and uh, although everybody says like no uh, state of emergency again, no curfews, but the, 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 there might be uh, some um, uh, um, new regulations again regarding uh, restaurants and clubs that are virtually non-existent now. But let me uh, uh, present you first. With us, uh, Biljana Tanurovska Kulakovsky from Lokomotiva Center for New Initiatives in Arts and Culture from Kino Kultura, and also a uh, important member and shaker and mover on, uh, on a Macedonian independent art scene, uh, particularly in performing arts, but also uh, activist and the fighter for the rights of all cultural workers. Uh, hi, Vilena. Hi, Raiko. Shall I start with the COVID situation or something? Yeah, just Thank us, you. Yeah, yeah, just tell us a few, few sentences now, like how, how is that regarding the, the, the COVID, mm -hmm. COVID at the moment? Okay, thank you for uh, the introduction. I will say more about uh, how I actually fit in the scene and how the scene is developed, if I can say it's a scene. However, the um, state of emergency, I th think it uh, kind of has finished two days ago in a sense of um, uh, now we are promoting the elections that uh, should uh, be on 15th of July. Therefore, a lot of measures has been uh, kind of relaxed. I would say, but uh, we experienced a lot of different curfews so when we had like 30 to 50 people uh, kind of sick uh, for a day. But today, these days, uh, we are experiencing a peak and a totally, it's kind of like a, a situation that it's uh, counterproductive in that sense of understanding what is happening. So. Uh, yeah, everything is uh, relaxing except the cultural spaces, theaters, um, uh, public spaces where we can uh, do our events. Uh, 
uh, not clubs also, they're not open, there are not measures for them, but uh, let's say, how do you say, these betting places, Kladionice, betting places, for people to go to bed, uh, then of course the restaurants uh, and all these uh, other public spaces are open instead of um, uh, these other like public spaces of culture, I would say. So I don't know, it's a bit weird. Every day we are counting a larger number of uh, people that are uh, sick, but unfortunately we don't understand uh, how further on things will be developed after the elections, I would say. Yeah, uh, 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 I forgot to say that, that we just had elections on, uh, on a weekend and a lot of people think that actually the election of measures were related to, uh, to elections. The people, they didn't want to, uh, the, the government didn't want to let people feel that the, the, there is a problem. But I must add also that we had the very harsh curfews here and that people kind of just like were fed up and wanted to sort of breathe and do whatever they want to do. Uh, David, you are, you, you are without video uh, because uh, you filming in the theater at the moment and uh, it was most more important for us to, to hear you well. So we don't have a picture, but please tell us uh, just briefly like how the situation uh, regarding virus today in Georgia that I kind of... Uh, does better than all of our countries, virus-wise. Hello, everybody. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, the uh, situation in Georgia is sort of, uh, it's pretty good. We had total of over 900 uh, people who were sick with the virus. And uh, on daily basis, we have maybe two to eight, six to six, eight or not more than that. So situation in that terms is very good. Uh, the government acted pretty quickly. Uh, on the uh, March 26th, they had curfew and then martial law that, uh, and everything was locked on lockdown. So those harsh measures really helped with the virus, with the spread of the virus. But how, how is life different now compared to before the... Before uh, the well, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs. Um, a lot of people who are, who are in the entertainment industry, in hotels, restaurants, they were basically left without jobs. Uh, the country is still on lockdown. You can't enter or leave Georgia at this moment. If you enter, you got to go to a hotel with quarantine uh, for two weeks and stay there. So basically nobody leaves and comes in. And that's how they control this uh, virus inside the country. But uh, again, if you look at our neighbors, uh, their numbers are in, in tens of thousands. While we mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.